Hey guys, we just hit 500 subscribers. That is awesome. Thank you so much for all you guys. We love it when you leave your comments down below and clicking on the like, the subscribe, sharing with your friends. Uh, when we started this, we didn't know anything about YouTube. We bought an RV and we decided to start a YouTube channel to share our journeys with people. And um, it's been a fun ride. Also, um, we've been doing these stupid dad jokes every day. You guys have been tuning into those. I've been, I play guitar, so I started teaching guitar instructions. Um, I'm also a network engineer, so I started putting network engineering videos. And, and just trying to share everything along the way. So anyway, thank you so much um, for your support on this thing and, you know, for subscribing. And we are going to show a short montage of just kind of our trip along the way uh, right after we roll the intro. <music> Hey, we always start these videos with the basics. Coffee. Oh. There's my girl out helping me with videos, huh? Yeah, this is Jess. So our first trip was to Davis Mountain, so we ended up going and spending a good little amount of money at United RV Rentals just to buy stuff we may need on the trip, and it's my first time pulling an RV, so I just wanted to make sure we had everything we needed, and anyway, so it was to the Davis Mountain State Park. Hey, guys. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Hey, um, I, I just wanted to tell you, you know, once again, we're not sponsored by United Health RV, but Bill White at United RV um, set us up with some pretty cool stuff we're going to show you. Well, we were driving down the freeway. We we're getting close to Sweetwater, Texas. We're on I-20. And Loretta looked back and saw the door was open at the last gas station I had. Went in there to get this clip to hold the phone to the camera. So it's possible it's my fault. I, I, it's possible. So I, <laughs> this is why when they suggested that when you're locking your camper doors, lock the deadbolt first try to open it and then lock the handle because sometimes that handle being locked will give you the false sense that the door is actually locked in with the deadbolt and it's not so the problem is she didn't lock the deadbolt while we were <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're not even very far into this oh, trip you know? <laughs> I'll, I'll, like, like i said man we're not perfect we're gonna make mistakes um your door's flying open on the camper while you're driving and your shit flying out of the road is definitely a mistake that
we had a good time at um, Davis Mountain State Park. On our way back, it's a good little trip. So we stopped overnight at a truck stop called Landmark in Clyde, Texas. That was a nice place. Had a dog run, had a, you know, RV spot you could rent. And, um, you know, with the Passport America, you could get a real good deal on that. So we stayed there overnight. Hey guys, so anyway, we, uh, we're heading back. We drove about eight hours. It was about two or three. So on our way back home, instead of making the whole trip, and we we're pretty wore out. So anyway, we stopped. This, this is a pretty neat place and more and more of them are doing it. But anyway, it's called Landmark. Um, it's I-20 I East, so if you're coming through Texas from west to east, you know, coming from California, Arizona or something, um, it's a nice little place to stay. They have, um, it's called Landmark, it's off of exit 299, you know, it's right there off the service road. Cool thing is, it's a, you know, it's like a truck stop gas station, it's got a couple of different restaurants in it. Um and it has rv outlets back there now we get the pet normally they're about 22 23 dollars but um they we had that passport america and it was like 16 bucks to stay overnight so we just went ahead and hooked up the rv got a little bit of rest they have a neat little dog park as you can see they so it's kind of nice here. I can bring the dogs out here and let them off the leash a little bit and let them kind of run around. They've been on a leash the whole time, so it's kind of neat. One of them didn't want to go. She wanted to stay with mom, so it looks like she's coming. She just, um, uh, <laughs> evidently once we left, she started barking and woke up mom to bring her out. Mom is somewhere. Oh, there she is. She's not going to be very happy. I was trying to let her sleep, but the other dog wouldn't come out here, so. Hi, baby. Uh-oh. Mama's mad. Yeah. Uh -huh. Our next trip was going up to Sunset. We wanted to go to the buoy trade days, and um, so we did that. And we met one of our friends along the way there, Jim, and have a video also of kind of an interview with him and anyway so that was a lot of fun oh go ahead now <laughs> hey guys so we're here at Is the camp oh, yeah. yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> hi hi so we made we, it yeah we made it Look at her go. She makes some awesome fajitas, man. This steak is good stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's like the biggest garage sale in the world, so. <laughs> while we were at Selma Park, or while we were at Sunset Park, we ended up taking a short drive. There was a lake out there. It's called Selma Park on Amon Carter Lake, and that was a pretty lake and a nice little park if you ever want one that's right down on the lake, so that's pretty cool. Boat ramp, parks and wildlife department. 
Selma Park Campground Park fees. Site with water and electricity. I think it says twenty-five dollars a day. It says Might, five. There's part of a two missing. <laughs> and site with electricity only. Probably says fifteen, but you can only see the five. You cannot read this sign. <laughs> wow. What time? But if you want a boondock site without electricity or water, it looks like it says nothing. Wow. I don't know. Oh, You'd have to so find you out. Out of here. You would have to find out. That sign is in Lud in L L in But shit, there's Lud nobody moving or any of it. <laughs> that word I can't even read. See there's a sign. Right Check there. in with park host at office. Oh. Yeah. Well since you guys don't keep up with your sh here. Uh, what's the f to be on the lake? Oh, well, they said to check in with the park host. <laughs> I just want to be a park host. I can go at least paint like a is on the signs. I think these are like tents right here, right? There's with electricity. Outlets. Yeah, like tent sites with the electricity. Yep, they got a 50, 30 and all that. Really? Yeah. I'm looking at, there's one that's open there. Where? These are electricity only. There's oh. no sewage. Okay. Be bad well, that'd be very station. small tents. I mean, trailers. I'll go back in there. Well, duh, oh, there's the office. It looks like an outhouse. Selma building. Park Host. <laughs> that says Park Host. Another one of our friends and RVing friends, our neighbor across the street, we bought our RVs on the same day. So our next trip, we took a trip with them up to Decatur Lake at the Stanford Ranch RV Park.
at Stanford Ranch, got to hang out with our um, neighbors and friends, um, Paul and Debbie, and, you know, so it was a good time. Whoops. Hey, we finally got out here with our neighbor, our buddy Paul from across the street here. That's right. Take the best picture you got of me, and that's the worst one you'll ever see, too. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, finally got out of here camping, and we've been trying to do it for a long time in these dang RV. Yeah, cheers. yeah, cheers. So, anyway, we've been having a good time. It's raining a lot now, but, um, yeah, so we're just kind of hanging out. and so We're going to take here next week or so and work on the 29 a little bit. Yeah. Cool, so anyway, we still the got ladies. the ladies back there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we've been trying to plan this for a long time. We bought our RVs on the same day. Um, Every time we plan on going, mine broke. Yeah. <laughs> they never so, got it out of the yard until this weekend. Yeah, we, we both had issues, but you know what? We're out, we're having a good time. So anyway, that's what it's all about. After that, that puts us to about September, and it was getting a little closer to winter, so we went ahead and um, scheduled, you know, you, if you remember some of my other videos, we had some issues with the RV from the very beginning, where, you know, even brand new, the thing was, the blinds were falling out of the window, there was a buckle in the restroom, an area where the siding was pulling away from it, and we needed to get it winterized, so I called them which had to make us an appointment two months out. I guess the first trip we're taking in this forest river, uh, you know, we look at it and the siding's all peeling away. It looks like it's 20 years old coming down here. Yeah, you look down towards the bottom and it's like doing that. You look in here, it looks like you know, if you look along this caulk seam, all the caulk is missing, all the, this is on the back of the slider. Look at that. I can stick my finger in there. Keeping in mind, first time, we haven't really done nothing. We just got the jack stands down, we set this thing up, and here's what I saw in the bathroom when I came in here. So, looking right there, see how that's all buckled and pulling away, the wallpaper and everything um this comes from the manufacturing process because they don't have anything there to support it this is screwed in this is screwed in but what they did is didn't flatten this out before they put the screws so they got in a big old hurry and went and put these screws in there left this buckle tried to stick it down with caulk and then because it's a buckle, it pulls away, and now that caulk is stuck to the wallpaper, and it's pulling the wallpaper off the wall. So. All right, so we came in the RV to try to pull up a little bit, got the air conditioner going, and when we came in, both of these blinds had fallen off, and that one's broke, he said, so we might be able to make shift it for now, but pretty cheaply held on blinds they do not want to stay up there the blinds themselves being zebra blinds are kind of cool but they've got to remain in place to be cool <laughs> and here we are in a customer check-in line there's probably there's a couple in front of me but there's about four or five lanes so there's a lot of rvs here i think one person working everyone that brings us up to now that's like three months later and they still haven't taken the RV in the bay to fix the issue. But along the way, I've done some um, things with, um, I'm a network engineer, so I've done some videos along that. Oh, so I like telling jokes. So I started doing these stupid dad jokes every day. 
And I'm a guitar player, so I started doing guitar instructional videos all the way from the beginning. This is a guitar. This is the sound hole, you know, taking you all the way up through learning the scales, learning different, you know, chords and notes and, you know, how to play, you know, different riffs. And, you know, that one's still in prog. You know, I'm still doing more videos on that, but. Yeah, that's another playlist that I've started in there. So if you're interested in any in any of those, please be sure to check them out. And I do have some of our other fun excursions, even, you know, without the RV, like we've taken a day trip to Windstar to go to the casino. And walking the puppies in the park. Overall, with this Miller Time side, it's just life's a journey, and we appreciate you guys coming along the journey with us. Hey, if you want to keep seeing more videos like this, um, please click on the like, subscribe, comment buttons down below to be notified um, as we're releasing videos. And please go to the channel, look around. We have different playlists. I have a bunch of stupid dad jokes, a couple of hundred stupid dad joke videos, and um, guitar instruction videos, there's, you know, sections, I uh, have playlists for each of those. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.